Hello Pisces, we're doing it again this week. We did it last week, we're doing it again. Why? Because it was fun. And because, well because. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is for fun, the quickie. We have Penelope the Dreamweaver and the Journeyman. We're off to see the wizard. You are off on your destined path. And you're not losing your balance as you step off the wizard's head. You've learned all you can from this shaman guru master. Your ascended master is worried about you. He knows that you'll have a few ups and downs. But he's confident that you've got all the tools you need. Because when you step off of his head, see how you're balancing the moon on a stick, you're, you've got that down pat. You will not lose your balance. You are creating something beautiful. You know it and you're ready to do it. Your divine guidance. What number did we get? We got the number three. This is about you, um, law of attraction, sending out the intention. Seven is about it coming in for you. And eight is about it manifesting. Seven is that spiritual help. Eight, it's manifesting. Nine is like wish fulfillment, awakening. All right, let's go back to three. Infinite love. Your powerhouse of infinite love and law of attraction. This card represents the infinite love that not only resides within you, but is you. The entire universe is the vibration of love energy. Spirit sees your beautiful heart and is calling you to allow this loving energy to flow fully into you and from you. It will heal your hurts and negative past experience experiences, helping you connect with the true immortal being of light that you are. It is your light and your love that this world needs the most. It's time to let the love flow. Oh my goodness, it's a love fest. Pisces, the 12th sign, the mother of the zodiac, and the finisher of the cycle. Three of spring, the wheel, and the queen of winter. So plan these next step. <laughs> Look at that. You're not even, what, a plan? What do you mean I need a plan? I'm just going to leap in faith like Pisces do, and they just somehow always land on their feet. But this one is saying plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. You have an opportunity here. Have some patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done, but there's more good things to come your way. Coming your way. Delays are over. There has been sudden or unexpected good luck or happening now. There's This is like, for some of you, it can mean travel or buying a new vehicle or something like that. But because we're in quarantine, this is about things coming around. This new cycle is now spinning in your favor. Why? Because you stepped into the queen of winter throne. You're not emotional. You're looking at things logically, strong, patient, self-sufficient, and funny as F. You've let go of people, things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career. And that's exactly what you're doing. Wow. Pisces, you powerhouse. I love it. Freaking love the Pisces readings in the last month or two. Things are unfolding. Oh, and, oh, and uh, check out the Pisces reading from uh, last week. Uh, wow. Wow. What's coming? What? Yeah, I'm not even going to give the spoiler alert. It's a good one. God bless. Bye for now. Oh, Sunday night. Want some cards? I'll ask some questions. 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 7 o'clock Atlantic Standard Time. It's a live stream. Come and ask your questions and I'll pull you some cards for free. Okay. Mwah. Bye, Pisces.